Hi guys, this is the Betamax man here. So we're gonna start working on this. This is uh, I've actually already started working on it. Um, I've actually uh, repaired the um, the regulator. I put a regulator in in this one, and uh, we'll just see if it powers up now. Because if you remember before, we had. Um, no uh, power light and uh, we had no uh, hi-fi light so let's just plug it in and see here oh yep yep it's gonna power on okay we got it it's powering on all right let's get uh, now where is a tape 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 I need a TIFF tape. What did I do with that one tape? Ah. Crap. There it is. This is my trusty test tape. Let's just see if this cassette housing works. Oh, wow. Uh. Okay, we've got no... Um, it's not even going to attempt to load the, the tape there. So, it's not even attempting to load the cassette. Well, we do have proper power, but now we have no uh, cassette. So, let's try and see if we can find out what's going on there. Let's just, let's just try and, let's just load this thing manually. So, yeah, it's, uh, there's a switch that's not activated, that solenoid switch. There's something wrong maybe in this, um, mechanism here. The loading motor. Um, the clutch mechanism. Probably something going on there, so... This one is a mystery, guys. Well, it's playing. It's not playing correctly. The, uh... Sync pulses are not correct. So we've got a servo problem on this one. Yeah. So it's not loading a tape and it's not unloading a tape. So there's probably something going on with one of the uh, circuit boards. Um, I do know that this thing has a problem with the uh, Hall Effect device because it will play a tape, but as far as like uh, trying to rewind a tape or fast forward a tape, it is extremely slow and won't hardly move when we do this. So, and now we can. Well, let's just. power this thing off if we can. It's not even uh, responding. I do wonder, I'm trying to figure out what exactly is going on. Okay, so now it's it's thread the tape in a little bit. It just sucks some of the tape back in. I'm gonna manually uh 
So let's manually thread this thing back up and I'll show you uh, with the I'll show you what the rewind and fast forward is doing. Oops, um, power it off. We'll just go ahead and load this back up. We'll just but I think it's also skipping a tooth. I think the guy lied about the uh, power problem. He said, oh yeah, it worked really good, and then I moved it to the upstairs, and uh, it, it's, it's not powering on, it's not working. And, oh, it worked perfectly before. Yeah, sometimes these people will lie and uh, make you think that, you know, you're going to get a, a machine that you can get it working easily. You know, they just, some people always try to uh, fool you into thinking that, you know, it's one problem when they know it's got several problems. They'll tell you, oh, it just got this one problem when multiple issues uh, can occur so let's power it off and see if we can get the solenoid to engage so that we can hit play so we're not even getting uh, it won't even uh, play now there we go there we go, we got the solenoid engaged. Okay. We do have a servo problem. Now if we go to fast forward, it, it's got a problem. It, it will fast forward, and it will rewind, but you can hear the, um, the servo's not running the, the uh, Hall Effect device the Hall Effect device is not running at the proper speed when you go to fast forward or rewind now even in uh, you know so we're well, obviously in picture search but that shouldn't go that slow in picture search now if we hit stop or we hit fast forward hear it you can hear the Hall Effect device that is uh, kind of like, you know, screaming for help, saying, I'm not working correctly. Hear that? Now, that could either be... Now, that's definitely... This thing definitely has a servo problem. So, we have a servo problem... Now, it's either the, um, it could be a capstan or a drum. I don't think, I don't think it's a, a drum servo problem. I think it might be a, uh, capstan servo issue. And not to mention that we have an issue of the tape not even loading or unloading. Uh, I have to do it manually. And once I get the uh, machine loaded and I get the solenoid to engage, then I can get it to where it'll play. But sometimes the servo doesn't lock in. See? It shouldn't do that. So now it won't even lock in. There we go. Now it locked in. So the servo is now it's now locked into place. It's got something going on with the um, pendulum gear here. This uh, this is a clutch mechanism. So the motor um, powers on this side. To do one thing and then it goes over and switches over to this side so this side where uh, the motor spins this side 
to make the tape go in, in the machine. And then there's a switch that activates that tells it to, uh, for the motor to switch over to this gear, which threads the tape around the head drum. And then the solenoid engages, and then it will play. So, so first of all, yeah, we've got a problem there. So I took the the switch out of the uh, cassette housing here, and I just used my pocket knife and try to scrape any uh, corrosion that may be on the switch so I'm just wondering if maybe this switch is not working right and it's got corrosion on the contacts I think is why you know because this switch is not even sending any signal to the board and it might be the board that this plugs into is got something wrong with it too Okay, let's just see if there's any kind of difference. It may not do anything. Yeah. So cleaning the, the switch didn't do a darn thing. Okay, so what I've done was change the... Um, clutch mechanism. This is the loading motor which is uh, right here obviously you can see and it's got the little pendulum that goes back and forth between the two gears so like I was saying that once the tape gets when the switch is activated there is the uh, motor starts and loads the tape in. Once the tape has been down into its position, this is a switch down here that tells the machine the tape is in and start threading the tape around the drum. And so this gear does that and then you know so it's uh yeah so let's just see if we've made any any progress or and maybe we haven't made any progress maybe it's still doing the same thing i don't know so let's just see what happens yeah We've made no progress. Okay, it's loaded and uh, it's play. Hit play. So, let's hit eject. Something's not going on. Hmm. That is really strange. Okay, but it's now... Uh, it will not... Uh, it won't uh, eject still. Still won't even eject on its own, so there might be something going on with the uh, the board. Okay, guys, uh, I've got the uh, power supply out, and I was checking the capacitors and power supply, and I did find one capacitor uh, that was completely open, which is uh, C006. Uh, this is the capacitor that is, just, I believe, a, uh, I believe that's a 16 volt uh, cap. So this is the capacitor that we pulled out, and uh, it had been leaking um, because it actually the traces. The traces on the board are uh, damaged on one of them, and uh, this is a 25 volt at 47. So we'll change that out, put the power supply back together. 
I'm not finding any other bad components on the power supply as far as capacitors. Um, I'll check the other components. I'll check the... There's a transistor there that might have... It's possible that that might have gone open. So the capacitor that was bad that I replaced that uh, was leaking because uh, uh, the trace was damaged and so as you can see uh, I've just rerouted the pin to uh, where it originates from so basically I just done a little bridge yeah so we just uh, I just put a bridge on there so we'll put this power supply back together um, so, it's not doing anything, so it, it still doesn't, even with that capacitor completely open and changed it out, and I could have swore that would restore it, but uh, it's not. So the second thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and swap out the the board i'm gonna swap out the bottom board okay so we've swapped the well i've swapped out that bottom board um now i checked the capacitors on it and they were okay i checked the transistors uh there was like two transistors that were on that board and they tested good too so um, the only thing I could think of is maybe an integrated circuit failed let's just see if it will uh, accept the tape now See what we can do here. Let's see. Oh, yep. Okay, it's accepted the tape. Now where's play? Play. Maybe the head's clogged. Okay, well, we've got a servo problem now. Um, hmm. Interesting. Well, you get one thing fixed and uh, something else happens. Um, Man, this thing is just, this thing is a pain in the butt, you know? I mean, this thing is really uh, a pain.